From the get-go, I mean, really, FSU had every reason to want to bounce back after two losses in a row, but UNO was having none of that, George, and we have gotten kind of used to the privateers holding their own on the basketball floor with people who really should overmatch them, but their win over Florida State tonight on the lakefront is all new territory, and check some of it out. As you see right here, Tony Harris knocks this J down. He was a little shaky when he got into the ball game. The coach talked to him, settled him down a little bit right here. He moves it out to uh, Moore. That's no good right there. And uh, bang, it is down as uh, Moore scores there. 19 points, William Moore. George McLeod banked 24 home here for uh, FSU. They had 22 turnovers, though. One of them right here as Robert Hockett cashed it in for one of his 15 points. UNO missing a bunch of one and ones until he had to. And down the straight, they do it. Shocking FSU tonight, 83 to 77. Awesome stuff. Tonight, what a big step for a program looking mm -hmm. for a fresh start. They got one this evening. Tim Floyd's scrappy UNO Privateers felled another giant tonight. This one, the 12th-ranked FSU Seminoles, whose point guard was bigger than any member of the UNO starting five. Take a look at it. Talent-wise, UNO has no business on the court with a team like FSU, but Tim Floyd has got these kids playing like their lives depend on it. They concede nothing, fight for everything. William Moore had 19 points and nine rebounds. 6'6 six, six point guard George McLeod got his points, 24 of them, but they didn't come easily. UNO's transition game served them well in the first half. Tony Harris on the break with the jam, two of his 22 on the night. Pat Kennedy couldn't believe what he was seeing from the Seminole bench. Leonard Bennett's in front of the pack for the slam, and UNO led by as many as 13. But FSU fought back to tie it at 67 all. Robert Hockett, who finished with 15, untied it with a three-pointer from the corner. UNO was up by four, trimmed to one by McLeod. It was 72-71 Privateers. Lamont Thornton will miss the free throw, but Moore manages to get a fingertip on it and nudge it home. Derek Mitchell comes down court with FSU trailing by four. He loses the ball, but that's okay. It goes in. The lead is two. Tony Harris iced it with a pair of free throws, and Tim Floyd had the most notable win of his young and very promising UNO career. The Privateers win a big one tonight over the Seminoles, 83-77. In prep basketball, Shaw is the District 11 champion. Not Maybe more fans will go now. 12th ranked Florida State put the UNO Privateers to the acid test tonight. UNO on the attack. Lamont Thornton dishes off to William Moore. Thornton had 11 assists. Moore scored 19 points. Florida State in maroon. That's the Seminole's big gun. George McLeod drilling a three-pointer. McLeod had 24. Robert Hockett dishes off to William Moore, and Moore finds the range again from the side court. A miss you on those shot. There's a scramble. Tony Harris comes up with a loose ball and puts it back up. Harris had 22 points. Willie Richardson had 19. UNO gets the turnover. Long pass down court. Tony Harris again for the jam. The surprising privateers open up a seven-point lead. Florida co State coach Pat Kennedy had some words for the official. Now Mays drills one for the Seminoles, cutting UNO's lead to one, but they went up by four at the halftime. Leonard Bennett inside for the privateers. And an easy bucket. Again, a turnover. Lamont Thornton dishes to Bennett for another UNO basket. Now, Robert Hockett, who had 15 points, rolls a three-pointer. And moments after the 83-77 victory, Vince Marinello talked to UNO coach Tim Floyd. This place is a madhouse. Yeah, I tell you, it's great to see the crowd like this and the people into it. And if they'll come back Thursday and Saturday like this, we might have us a chance to get us a conference championship. I hope everybody comes out to see us. Coach, what does a win over a nationally ranked team like the Florida Se a State Seminoles do for your confidence level for your ball club going into these critical games? Oh, it can't hurt a darn thing. And I tell you what, we've got to have a, a big day of practice tomorrow getting ready for a Louisiana Tech team and an Arkansas State team, team that I think might be better than the club we played tonight. UNO is now 16 and 9, Florida State 19 and 5, and 15th ranked Seton Hall beats St. The Seminoles looking to end the two game slide, and well, this looked like the perfect opportunity. But there was a big problem for FSU tonight, and that was turnovers. UNO's Robert Hockett, surprisingly, they had the early lead, 16 to 14. Another turnover. Lamont Thornton with the pass to Leonard Bennett for the jam. Tim Floyd is calm for now, but uh, Pat Kennedy was not. His team had 13 turnovers in the first half. FSU getting close. George McLeod jams it home. 74 to 73 UNO leads. Floyd feeling the pressure now, but FSU could not come through. 
UNO runs away with the upset. Tony Harris with the drive inside. UNO wins it 83 to 77 was the final score. Tony Harris led the way for the Privateers with 22 points. FSU loses its third in a row. Keep in mind, New Orleans lost all five of their starters from last year's team that won 21 games. ESPN's Chris Myers has learned... Regain a piece of the Metro Conference lead with the Cardinals. But you never count your privateers before they hatch, or whatever it is that privateers do. They're in the light uh, uniforms in New Orleans. First half action, Lamont Thornton. Long pass to Tony Harris for the jam. And look at this, UNO is up by four at halftime intermission. Now, in the second half, New Orleans opens up with a 9-2 run. Bobby Moore with the alley-oop jam. And then Harris also comes up with the alley-oop jam of his own. He had 23 points in the game and is 47-34 New Orleans. But Florida State does get within two thanks to some luck. Donnie Mitchell gets the ball knocked away, but uh, the thing still manages to drop through somehow, but it wasn't enough. 83-77 to New Orleans is a winner. Robert Hackett with three triples down the stretch in the last eight minutes. The Knowles have now lost three consecutive ball games. Armed with a brand new uh, year, added to a six-year contract with a 10% raise, UNO coach Tim Floyd had his guys wired against American South co-leader Louisiana Tech tonight on the lakefront, and I mean, they lit him up in a hurry. Uh, UNO breaking out in front, Robert Hockett knocked the three down, top of the key. UNO by as much as 17 in the first half. Tech's big guy in the middle, Randy White, must have thought he was wearing privateers pantyhose as they really stop the lob. That triggers the break. Lamont Thornton to Hockett, no, but William Moore there for the slam. Second half now, L.A. Tech puts on a run as the privateers cool down. Bet Brett Guillory hit the three. Tech had seven or eight threes. The lead was down to four, but the privateers hanging tough. Tony Harris will get the roll and two of his 28 points as UNO takes it. 73 to 63. They are now 6 and 3 in the American South and tied for first place and they can win the American South on Saturday night. Why? Because if you look at our board, Arkansas State was beaten tonight. They were the co-leaders along with uh, UNO and defeat with their first half hustle. William Moore follows and erases a miss with an emphatic jam. Robert Hockett fires away from three-point territory. UNO led by 12 at the half, never trailed in the game. That final tonight, 73 to 63. They are 17 and nine, tied for first with Louisiana Tech and Arkansas State. In the conference, Tony Harris with 28. USL losing tonight and falling into that tie with the Privateers. Two Arkansas, or USL beating Arkansas State, rather, 79 to 76. Big win against Florida State, and we're really concerned about a letdown tonight. And uh, I thought the guys might be a little unrealistic or too high, getting too many pats on the back yesterday. But uh, I thought our concentration level was the best it's been all year tonight. They, uh, they didn't turn the ball over. I think we only had two turnovers in the first half, and our offside help defensively was probably better than it's been all year. And, and the guys, we're playing the best basketball we've played all year long. Well, you're, you're really playing spectacular. It looks like a whole team approach, and the kids are, are running and gunning. And uh, where in the world did you get Tony Harris from? <laughs> <laughs> Tony Harris is, uh, is from a junior college, Johnson County Junior College, and we got the job a month after national signing date, and he didn't have a place to go, and uh, he was really a steal for us, and uh, was really proud of him, as, as I was all the guys tonight. Uh, you know, even the guys that didn't score, like Lamont Thornton, we had a bunch of people doing a good job. Coach, it's your birthday Saturday. What do you want for your birthday? Uh, how about a win? We'll, <laughs> we'll go for that. I, I, uh, that would be a big win Saturday night, though. Oh, it, it would be tremendous. And if everybody wants to see a great college game, you know, I, I've got to believe we can find 10,000 people out there that, that want to see a, a pretty good college game. It's two teams playing for a league championship, and Arkansas State is by far the best team that we've played all year long, better than Oklahoma State, Florida State, and Memphis State. And uh, we'll have our hands full, but I think our guys, uh, you know, are going to come out and play hard. I don't know what will happen, but we're going to play. Last thing, Coach, I asked Chris Jackson this question, the LSU star earlier in the year. I know you signed a contract extension, but already people up here are saying, will he stay, will he stay? Oh, this is where I want to be. That's why I signed the, the contract extension. Uh, I like this place and, and uh, signed a six-year deal that I can't get out of and added a year to that. I've got to believe that we can make this uh, one heck of a place, and I want to stick around and be a part of it. See you Saturday night. Thanks, Alrighty, Coach. Thank you. Okay, Jim, there you go. Thanks very much. ...against Louisiana Tech. The privateers started fast. William Moore scores, he's fouled, and converts a three-point play for an early lead. On the break, Willie Richardson pulls up and hits the jumper. UNO started out 9-1 before Tech got its first basket. Anthony Day hit Tech's first basket, but UNO still led comfortably. And Moore was hot late in the first half. Here, he hits from the circle. Saints coach Jim Moore and his wife were spectators. UNO went on to beat Louisiana Tech tonight, 73-63 to tie for the lead. Now let's go to the Lakefront Arena where Roe Brown standing by live. Buddy.
Buddy, coupled with the Arkansas State loss over to USL and Lafayette, UNO will play for the number one seed in the ASC Conference Tournament later, coming up next month, of course. The big guy tonight was Tony Harris, number 42. Tony, you played a great game. You know, can you believe you guys are playing for the number one seed in the conference attorney? Yes, um, I can. Um, we've been practicing for this, preparing for this, you know, all week. You know, we had to take a game at a time, and Louisiana Tech was today, and we came out with a win. 28 points for you tonight, 16 of 16 from the free throw line. I mean, you must have been working from the free throw line in practice. You were really draining them. Yeah, I was. Um, it was all there. Um, I practiced on my free throws every day. And, uh, you know, they were just going sinking down tonight. Okay, real quickly, Arkansas State, they popped you pretty good in Jonesboro. You have got to have all kinds of incentives Saturday. <laughs> well, yeah, they really stumped on us uh, when we were up there and just played against them. And, we're just going to do the best we can when they come here. Okay, Tony, thanks for hanging around. Thanks for waiting for us. 73-63, UNO wins over Louisiana Tech tonight. They will play for the ASC conference title, at least a tie for the title, and first uh, the number one seed in the conference tourney. Back to you, buddy. Rocket, best crowd of the year out here, and they saw quite a show. Let's go to the highlights and tell you what happened. Early on, as we said, 6,500 people here tonight, and it was a big, big crowd, over 6,500 here at the lakefront, biggest crowd of the year, and they saw Tony Harris early on score on the inside. Harris gets it inside. He hits the shot right there, and then a little fun. The toilet paper came streaming down. They got a technical, but I think Tim Floyd said it was worth it to have this kind of crowd and this kind of excitement. Arkansas State went to their big guy, John Tate, on the inside. He had a, only held to 11 points, though, and that was really the key was the fact they held guys like take down second half now. Lamont Thornton feeds it inside to Willie Richardson. Richardson had 14 points. Big game for him. Then watch this on the steal. William Moore throws down the rainbow. He crams it inside. He also had 14. Crowd says we're number one. UNO was tonight. Game run, time runs out. Final score, 59-46. to 46. Tony Harris says it all on top of that basket. They are the American South champions, and it was a big one. Joining me now, the birthday boy. Tim Floyd, <laughs> this is your birthday, 35th birthday, and you can't have a better birthday than this. Yeah, or a better week. I tell you, it's been, a, it's been a fabulous week, and I've never been prouder of a group of guys. They've uh, come a long way, and I'm really, really am proud. American South champions at the beginning of the year, nobody, certainly I know you included, didn't think this team had that, that kind of stuff in it. Well, everybody keeps putting it on me, saying, what did I think we were going to do? What did you think we were going to do? I didn't think they were going to win. I could flat tell you that much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we, uh, you know, have, have done a lot of things, and I think uh, it's a combination of things. I think our players are a little better than what people gave them credit for, and uh, I had no idea they were going to like basketball this much. Every day has been an event. They love getting on this floor and working out every day, and they just continue to get better and better every night out. Tim, congratulations. As we said, the American South Conference champions, they play coming up next week in Lafayette, and they'll go as the number one seed in the tournament. A big, big win for the UNO Privateers tonight. Reporting live from the UNO Lakefront Arena, Jim Gallagher, Channel 8 Sports. Lionel, back to you. All right, thank you, Jim. Congrats to Tim Floyd again on a great year headed into that conference tournament. Now, Lakefront Arena didn't have the monopoly on excitement today. Things got a little wild in Baton Rouge, where the LSU win, and they were top seeds in the American South tournament next weekend in Lafayette. On the lakefront, low-scoring, tight game. It was 40-40. Willie Richardson on the drive to give UNO the lead. Tony Harris had 22, and here a big three-point basket. Leonard Bennett lets it go. Privateers lead by five, and they continue with this late surge that put it away. A team that always seems to play tough defense and get the loose ball. Richardson puts it back in. UNO leads by seven. They go on and win it, and the celebration is wild tonight. A great scene on the lakefront, 6,500 fans watching as UNO defeats Arkansas State by a final of 59 to 46. Today we proved that it's in the right thing with a joker. We know, as you know, he's going to Nanus and he finished last, so we just really shot that he out there. I, I can honestly say this, I've never been prouder of a group that I've ever been a part of in coaching. They uh, did something that a lot of people didn't think they could do this year, and they did it as a team, and, and uh, have come so far the last five or six games, and I feel like uh, the entire program has come a long ways. That was a big-time college basketball crowd out there tonight, and it's the kind of thing that we can use as a stepping stone to bigger and better things next year.